Cindy Ehrenberg Seltzer is the president and CEO of the Children's Services Council of Broward County. She also co-chairs the Broward Reads Coalition, part of a national campaign for grade level reading. In collaboration with representatives from the county, the Early Learning Coalition and the school district, it focuses on four pillars to address the needs of students, including summer slide, attendance, improving the quality of early care and education, and family engagement. In Broward, we've taken the extra step of creating something called Broward Reads in Your City, which has allowed cities to make a commitment to participate in each of those four pillars. And it's not just signing a proclamation, it is actually making a commitment to do something to address each of those areas. And I'm happy to say that Broward cities have jumped on that and have made extraordinary commitments to their children to make sure that they can read on grade level by third grade. Prior to the formation of the Broward Reads Coalition, the Broward School District found that only 55% of students were reading at grade level by third grade. Now, this number has steadily risen to 60%. While that may seem like a small increase, it puts us at the top of the pack for the state, and we are not resting on our laurels. We are going to make sure that all of Broward's children can read on grade level by third grade. And why third grade, you may ask? Because what the research has shown is that up until third grade, children are learning how to read. After third grade, they need those skills because then they are reading to learn. And we want to make sure that those children, all of them, have that ability to keep advancing their education and be able to read to learn. The issue of the summer slide has always been of concern for our children who live in literacy deserts, if you will, or homes that are not filled with a lot of reading material and a lot of opportunities for reading within the home. A pillar of the campaign for grade level reading is addressing that summer slide. Collectively, the Early Learning Coalition, the Children's Services Council, the school district, the cities, the county, we have come together to address that in a very strong and coordinated fashion. You'll see a lot of challenges out there, uh, primarily promoted by the libraries. So a lot of competitions using the Beanstalk app so that you can log in how much reading your child is doing. You can check out books. The Children's Services Council and the school district and the United Way, we've distributed a lot of books over the summer. And all of our after school programs that operate during the summer have a strong literacy component. And with the added challenges created by distance learning, the coalition has found new and innovative ways to keep students engaged through virtual read alongs and remote tutoring. Our after-school providers, again, have also been taking advantage of the technology distributed by the school district to do homework assistance and to do literacy activities, but they're only as good as the technology connection. At the Children's Services Council, from the beginning of the shutdown, we had authorized all of our providers to use different ways of connecting with the children that they normally serve. The feedback that we're getting is quite positive that many of the children are enjoying those interactions and taking advantage of them. So that gives us a lot of satisfaction. One of the things that's been really nice, both for parents and even for students, is to see how committed their teachers are to their well being and their education. So many teachers have gone out of their way to be engaging and learn new skills in order to be able to connect with their students. Hopefully, that will translate into a feeling of support and will make them even more happy to go back to school when they open up again. And perhaps parents will be a little bit more supportive of teachers having seen just how difficult it is to teach our children. <laughs>